Okay, for the telephone installation, basically we're going to take one cable and we're going to actually put it in the plywood with a small hole in it here. Uh, the cables, again, the way they're laid out is I happen to be in work area number three, so it's WA, or I'm sorry, work area number five, so it's WA5. The dot three is the cable number. So each one of the areas has eight cables in it, so you'll see um, numbers such as WA5.1 through WA5.8. So what we'll do is we're going to take this cable and do a telephone installation. Okay, so I'm going to grab a um, string with a nut on it because this is small enough we won't be able to get a fish stick or any fish tape through this hole. So I'll show you another way to drop in and, and um, get the pull string into the wall. Okay, so we'll grab the actual string, have a nut tied to the end of the pull string, and I've got a little piece of wire here to grab the uh, string as it comes out down by the hole here. So we'll just go up on the top, drop the nut into the hole. Probably be a good idea to tie off the string um, so you don't lose it in the wall. I'll just bring the string down far enough into the wall and the nut that you should be able to go in, hook the nut. Now you can take your cable. And again, you can do the proper tying procedure. In this case, we don't have to be quite as elaborate. We have just one string or one wire going into the wall. So if we tie our knot there, let me grab a piece of tape. Okay, take our tape. Again, doing the proper pulling procedure. Tape or not, do one half hitch, tape off the very end, and take our cable have to feed it from the top a little bit. Put it in. Okay, pull our cable in. We'll be using a wall hanging plate from for a telephone jack. I'm again to take the telephone jack, it'll be screwed to the wall here. The cable, let me demonstrate how that cable comes through there. Okay, take the cable, bring it through one of the slots here, we'll strip it back and lay it down to the screws on the wall plate, and then the wall plate will be mounted to the wall. And of course, once you're all done, there's a little cover that goes on to the wall plate, and this will be the finished side of that. That's what that should look like. Again, cables dressed up on the, on the rack and so forth. And then we'll go over to the other side, to the 66 side, and we'll lay, show you how to lay down that side. Okay, so on the uh, entrance point or the 66 block side, again, we'll talk about the cable and a numbering system. On this side, um, we've got the cable and the number on this one. You see it, we're in TR3, so the first part of that is TR3. And then dot three, so if you remember right, the other one was WA5.3. Again, this is cable number three corresponding to that cable over there. Again, the TR just tells us that we're in the right um, room, the telecommunications room that, that is with that wall, with that uh, work area over there. So again, we're gonna bring this in. We'll, we'll dress it in again. Remember, cables do not run through the cable rack. We should run them around, dump over the back side or whatever, but never come through the opening of a cable rack. Okay, um, again, we'll dress that cable in later, but what we'll do is we'll bring it down through, bring it into the 66 block, and again, we'll be told what position to put it in. 
Remember there could be six possible positions on the 66 block when we're laying down all four pair. So example, if we're gonna be in position number two, we'll take and strip back the cable. Again, take off the pill pull string, that's extra. Okay, position number two. So this would be my blue white of the first pair, my orange, my green, my brown. So my blue pair would start right here. So I put my blue, blue white pair in here. And again, doing the typical, same thing as we've always done. Now in this case, I don't know if I need to walk through, well, I'll walk through all of them. We'll put in all four pairs. Even though we're doing telephone, we don't just use the blue and blue white pair. Um, in case somebody wants to change that jack to a data jack someday, we want all four pairs to be connected um, here at the 66 block. So I'm gonna pull this up, it makes it a little easier. We need to lay the cables in. Third pair would be my green pair. My brown pair. Again, using the 66 punch down tool um, again with the cutting side and I got to remember we have to rotate this tool again if you did like I did so we'll start punch down See that's sometimes why I like to work from the, the bottom up. Uh, it just depends on what works out best for you. Putting, keep attention on the on the cables also helps a lot. Okay, my green, green white pair. Okay, so if you see that, we have our, our pairs laid down. Again, we have room for one more cable up here. This is in the position number two. And when we're doing this now, we have to get phone service. This is phone service over here. We have to bring it in over here. It's called a cross connect. And in case for telephone, we only need one pair. So we'll use cross connect wire. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out what we call bridge clips. These bridge clips are the actual telephone service that feeds this service from this side to this side and on off to the next group. So when you pull a bridge clip, what you have to remember is you're removing service from somebody. So you have to make sure that you notify people if you're going to remove bridge clips. So we're going to take out these bridge clips. We'll just get them out of the way temporarily because we're going to need to connect our cross connect wire from the inside row of pins here to the inside row of pins over here. 
So example, we're gonna take this brown white, we're gonna lay it right in over the top. I don't care what color wire you use. We're gonna use a brown white wire pair here and we're gonna lay it right in over the blue and white. And we're gonna connect, we're gonna cross connect this side Okay, we're going to cross connect over here. Now typically what we do in a cross connect is we want to run around these spools nice and tight and bring it in on our pair over here. Okay, so I'm going to lay this in onto the blue white and take the brown white and lay it on the blue white on this side and the brown one on what would be the blue wire. Okay, so again, punch it down. Okay, now we have this cross connect done. So we can take the bridge clips, put them back in, which will restore service down the line and also give us service to our telephone line that we put in here. Now when we're done here, what we'll do is we'll take a telephone and go into the wall jack that you installed on the other side and listen for dial tone and then we'll dial a number that will ring a phone within the, within the shop here, or within the lab here. So when we're all done, we should have a working phone that we can dial out on a number.